Liebe Freunde, herzlich willkommen zu unserem Sprachprogramm. Today we are going to discuss about modal verben dürfen. Let's consider the situations in which we use the modal verb dürfen. The modal verb dürfen is used to speak about an erlaubnis, to speak about a permission that is given. Er darf meinen Computer benutzen. He is allowed to use my computer. The modal verb dürfen also can be used in order to speak about a verbot, to speak about denial of a permission. Here darf man nicht parken. Here one is not allowed to park. Now, let's consider the conjugation or the conjugation of the modal verb dürfen. It is conjugated as ich darf, du darfst, er, sie, es darf, wir dürfen, ihr dürft, sie dürfen, sie dürfen. Now, let's consider how modal verb is used in a sentence. Modal verb is placed in the second position in a sentence and modal verb is conjugated according to the subject. The main verb goes to the end of the sentence and it is used in its infinitive form. It is used in its base form. Let's consider the two examples. Ich darf am Sonntag in theater gehen. I am allowed to go to the theater on Sunday. In the given example, the modal verb dürfen is placed in the second position. It is conjugated according to the subject ich. And we have placed the main verb gehen at the end of the sentence. And gehen is used in its infinitive form. It is used in its base form. It is not conjugated. Let's look at the second example. Du darfst hier nicht rauchen. You are not allowed to smoke here. In this example, the modal verb dürfen is placed in the second position. It is conjugated according to the subject du. And the main verb rauchen is placed at the end of the sentence. And rauchen is not conjugated. It is used in its infinitive form. It is used in its base form. Now, let us consider how modal verb dürfen is used along with wefragen. How do we use modal verb dürfen with W questions? When we use modal verb with W questions, wefragen is placed first. And modal verb is placed in the second position. And modal verb is conjugated. And main verb is placed at the end of the sentence. And it is used in its infinitive form. Let's consider two examples. Wann dürfen wir fahren? When are we allowed to travel? In the given sentence, dürfen, which is placed in the second position, is conjugated according to the subject we are. and foreign is placed at the end of the sentence. It is the main verb and it is used in its infinitive form. In the second example, wann darf ich nach Hause gehen? When am I allowed to go home? The modal verb dürfen is placed in the second position. It is conjugated according to the subject ich and the wefragen w question wann is placed in the beginning of the sentence and the main verb is placed at the end of the sentence it is not conjugated it is used in its base form or it is used in its infinitive form now let us consider how modal verben dürfen is used along with Ja, nein, fragen. How do we use modal verb dürfen 
with yes or no questions. There is a slight change when we use modal verb in, in yes or no questions. The modal verb is placed in the first position and the modal verb is conjugated and the main verb is placed at the end of the sentence and the main verb is used in its infinitive form. The main verb does not undergo any kind of changes. Let's consider two examples. Darf ich am Wochenende einen Ausflug machen? Am I allowed to make a picnic on a weekend? The given example, Dürfen is placed in the first part of the sentence and it is placed in a conjugated form. The modal verb Dürfen is conjugated according to the subject Ich and the main verb is placed at the end of the sentence machen and the main verb machen is not conjugated it is used in its infinitive form let's consider the second example dürfen wir am abend fußball spielen are we allowed to play football in the evening the modal verb dürfen is placed in the first position and it is conjugated according to the subject we are and the main verb spielen is placed at the end of the sentence and it is not conjugated it is used in its infinitive form it is used in its base form please to remember in ja nein fragen when we use a modal verb modal verb is placed in the first position it is conjugated according to the subject the main verb goes to the end of the sentence and the main verb is used in its infinitive form. It is used in its base form. Hope you had a clear understanding about the usage of modal verb dürfen in different kinds of sentences. Hope you enjoyed our video. Please check out further videos from Diesel's Academy in order to clarify your doubts on various topics on German language. Thank you.